Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys five ways you can slice up an apple or any object inside of Blender. Uh, of course, we're doing this in edit mode. So the first way to cut up an object would be to do a loop cut. So if you do Control r on your keyboard, you can position a line that's going to go all the way through, aka a loop, uh, really anywhere you want. And this edge will uh, continue as long as there's no changes in the topology. So if it ran into an instance where one of these uh, edges were deleted, um, it would stop there. But as long as it's consistent all the way through, you'll get a line that actually cuts completely through your object. Um, so once again, that's Control R and then you left click to press to put it where you want it. Another option would be to subdivide whatever area you have. So this would be uh, really useful with simple objects like a plane, uh, but we could do it here with this apple as well. So I'm going to try to left click and select two edge loops here. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, holding shift down to select more than one at the same time. Okay, I'm not maybe that's a seam or something I'm not exactly sure okay anyway with two selected um, let's see we're gonna want to hit control E and select inner loop region um, and what that'll do is select the portion we actually want to subdivide effectively to cut it in half well it's a little bit more than that uh, so when we go to subdivide which you can always just type in the menu um, by hitting space and then go to subdivide we can kind of cut that up into pieces. Now this isn't exactly a straight cut through. You can see it also cuts it into segments horizontally as well. So in every one of these square boxes, we end up with four boxes because uh, it makes a cut both ways. Um, but depending on your situation, that could be useful. So for instance, if you have a plane, you can make a plane four planes and then 16 planes and so on and so forth until you get the level of detail that you're looking for. Okay, uh, another good one is the life tool. And this is gonna be more useful when you want a very specific level of control. So if you hit K on your keyboard, you'll get this pointer. And you basically pick a starting point and you draw lines between where you want the cuts to go. So you could do one cut all the way down, but you can see that um, would be a very straight line and doesn't really work with the curvature of an apple. So instead what you can do is kind of manually put these points on every um, every edge by left clicking and then when you're done cutting it you just simply hit enter and you have a new edge that goes from your starting point to the end point. Um, advantage over just creating a new edge loop with loop cut is that it gives you complete control over how that's going to look in the end. Okay. So if you want to uh, actually delete one of these lines to cut it in half and kind of go from there, uh, you should alt right click to select a line that goes all the way through and then you can just delete that. So let's see X on the keyboard and then delete edges I believe is what we want to go with here. And that's gonna cut it all the way through. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I would have expected it to actually do it to that side too, but I think what what, what happened here is that because we subdivided over here, it made the topology a little bit weird. So I'm gonna hit X and uh, delete that manually. So you might have to do it to both sides depending on how your model looks. And then uh, the fourth way, which is gonna be much more useful with complicated meshes is to do a uh, box select and then delete. So if you are in front ortho uh, orth what are they called? orthographic mode, um, which you would hit five on your keypad to put you in orthographic mode and then one on your keypad to uh, your numpad rather to put it in front orthographic mode, you get basically a uh, perfect front facing view down your model. So you just find that center point, you select all the vertices um, that are basically to the right or left of that center point, and you go ahead and hit delete. Um, now this is gonna work pretty well. Uh, the only issue is that if there are a lot of vertices, 
you have to be really careful about uh, what you select. So here you can see uh, on the stem that I may have selected a few that I didn't want to. Uh, so you have to be careful about that. You might have to zoom in a bit um, and make sure that what you actually select are the ones you want. But uh, front orthographic mode is as, cl as close as you can get to getting a perfect cut straight down the middle because that's a perfect front facing view with no perspective added. Uh, so that's five ways to cut up an apple or any other object inside of Blender. I hope this helps some of you guys out and I will see you guys in my future video content. So until then, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.